Hi everybody, Karen here from tuppenscolour.co.uk and thank you very much for joining me today. This is the card that I've been making today. Uh, it has a very definitely masculine feel and when I saw this suite of items in the spring summer catalogue it made me think of a particular movie. How about you? Stay with me and we'll make the card. Here are the things I'm going to be using today. Uh, my card front is a piece of Knight of Navy which is five and a half inches square and to uh, mat on top of that I've got a piece of the True Gentleman designer series paper and I've cut that to five and a quarter inches square. I've got some scraps of crumb cake and tranquil tide. I'm going to be using uh, the truly tailored stamps and chocolate chip ink. I have my tailored tag punch and I'm going to be using the three largest rainbows from the Rainbow Builder deck. Let's do a bit of stamping. Um, I've got my sentiment already mounted onto my clear block. I've got my chocolate chip ink and I'm going to ink up my stamp. Now I like to take the pad to the stamp and do some light tapping and I'm just going to pop that down where I think I want it to be and I'm going to give the ink some time to transfer so I'm just going to hold it there and count one two three four five and I have my stamped image next thing I'm going to do I'm going to take my tailored tag punch and I'm going to line up my stamping I think that's pretty straight and once I'm happy with the positioning close the jaws of the punch and there's my sentiment right way up would be better to the big shot and I've die cut out the three largest rainbow pieces. Uh, the biggest one I did in chocolate chip which I forgot to mention uh, when I was giving you the supplies list, sorry about that. Uh, the second size I did in tranquil tide and the smallest one is in crumb cake. 
Uh, I also punched out one of the tailored tags in Tranquil Tide. Uh, I've got all my bits ready, so now I'm ready to start assembling my card. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my, um, my Tranquil Tide piece and I'm going to chop it in half down the middle, just like that. So now I have two pieces. Oops! Fast Fuse wants to get in on the act. And I'm just going to put a bit of my liquid adhesive, my very favourite liquid adhesive, onto the... Uh, uh, I did not want that to happen. I did not. No. And I'm just going to... I'm going to turn that over now because I've got glue on the side where I don't want it. And I'm just going to line that up so that just a little bit, about an eighth of an inch, is peeping out and the bottom. And I'm going to put a bit more adhesive on because I've taken so long doing that that it's had time to dry. And uh, you won't be as cat handed as I am with it, I am sure. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to give that a few seconds to dry while I work on the card front. So, first of all, I'm going to clean off the nozzle of my glue bottle. And I'm going to put my liquid adhesive on the back here. Now this could be snail, this could be fast fuse, it could be tape, it could be the adhesive of your choice. Uh, but because I happen to have my my trusty liquid adhesive to hand, that is what I am using. Alright, so there is the background of my card. Okay, cut here. I have my three rainbow pieces, but I'm not using them that way. I'm going to turn them that way. I'm going to start with the largest one, which is the chocolate chip piece. And I'm just going to put some little spots of glue just along my rainbow there. Spread that out a little bit with my, with my finger. And I'm going to line this up so that it's like a letter C. And this paper, because it's got nice vertical stripes, will help me get that straight. Alright, so am I happy with that? Yep, I think I'm pretty happy with that. So the Tranquil Tide piece is next, and I'm just going to have a little play with where I want it to be. I don't want it to be lined up just like that. I want it to be a little bit more dynamic than that. But because I've got my first piece in place, that will help me to line this one up. Because when I was trying this out on, um, you know, with them just loose, they went everywhere. <laughs> they were kind of overlapping and flipping up and, and doing all sorts of things that I did not want them to do. So my last piece, and how am I going to put that, I'm going to go kind of that way a bit. Okay, my original thought for this card was that it would wind up something like that, all right? Um, but when I looked at it, I thought, do you know what? It's missing something. It needs something else. So uh, I went and got myself some of this. This is our Knight of Navy Corduroy Ribbon, and it's absolutely glorious. 
it's got this lovely ribbed texture to it can you see that yes just about and uh, in the catalogue it looks almost velvety but it isn't it is corduroy and it's absolutely blooming lovely so I'm going to cut myself a piece that is long enough to go around the front of my card so I'm positioning my corduroy ribbon across the front of the card and I'm going to take a little bit of ordinary sticky tape the kind you get from the stationers and I'm just going to pop that onto the end of the corduroy ribbon now I've got it on my silicone mat so it's not going to stick to that and now I'm just going to line that up where I want it fold that over there's a little bit of sticky tape showing that doesn't matter I'm going to trim that off afterwards okay and the same thing at this end and uh, one thing I do like about this pattern is that it helps me keep things straight because I'm not good at straight in a general in a general way I'm much better at jaunty angle or wonky as it is known okay so I can see a little bit of the tape sticking off the end there so I'm just going to get my my snips and I'm going to chop that away and I'm going to put a bit more tape on top of this to reinforce it and then that now will go onto the front of my card base that tape has been very naughty and sticking out there you go. all right so here's my my sentiment I've mounted it onto a couple of dimensionals and now I'm just popping that fairly centered onto the card and that I think looks a lot better than my original plan so there is my finished card uh, definitely a change of design direction from what I was originally planning uh, but you know what that happens and uh, this suite of products definitely makes me think of the movie Kingsman which uh, if you haven't seen it do go and see it because it's really really good but that is it for now thank you very much for joining me and I do hope you'll come back and see me again sometime soon bye bye